Hey you there, have you always wanted to? Play Farming Simulator in Dirty Bomb. Get a tactical nuke without getting a 25 kill streak. Not get fat from eating too many pancakes. Kill people with a fire potion. Activate Sky Daddy time. Spread freedom. Have a custom loading message. Get triple kills with a rocket. Open CSGO cases. And much more. Well then my friends, this video is just for you. Minus the CSGO cases because Sovraka already did a really good video on that. What's up guys, Assassin here. So today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to change the text in Dirty Bomb. So step one is opening up Steam. Click on your games, right click on Dirty Bomb, go to properties, click on local files, browse local files, and then click on shooter game, localization, and there you have all of these folders. Each one is for a specific language. And of course you can also directly go to this path. I will paste it in the description box below. Though keep in mind yours might be a little bit different. Now for English we need the int folder so click on that. First of all I highly recommend making backup files. Uh, I didn't but you can easily do that by just clicking on one. Pressing Ctrl C, Ctrl V and voila you have a copy of that file so you can always go back to how it was and how it needs to be because i have noticed some of these files haven't been changed in forever so not every dirty bomb update uh, these files get updated so once you change it they will stay there for quite a while step two is thinking of something you want to change so i want to change the name of the minigun how i do that is click on shooter game uh, you can open these up with any text editor you wish i choose notepad but any text editor will work. So like I said, I want to change the minigun. So how, what I do is press Ctrl F, uh, search for the minigun. And uh, there we have it. So you can see in game it's called heavy machine gun. And that's minigun. So you can see I already changed the heartbeat sensor to wall hack. So we're going to change the minigun to 1800 freedom per minute. And now you save it. Press Ctrl S or just go to File and Save. And next time you restart the game, the minigun will now be called 1800 freedoms per minute. Important thing to note is that you can only change stuff between these quotation marks. Everything else might break the game. I haven't tested that, but just change the stuff between the quotation marks. There is no real way to know which file changes certain things. It's just really trial and error. So for instance, if you click on the gameplay one, uh, you can see all of the augments. Also keep in mind, whenever there is something like percent %i, percent %s, whatever, that will ch be changed with a number and I think percent %s will be changed with a string. So uh, like a name or someone or whatever. Keep that in mind and I would highly recommend leaving at least that bit in because otherwise it might break the game. So another quick example, we are going to do the quick chats. So you can see all of the quick chats and the stuff it types when someone presses the certain command. You can see I already changed the good shot to this whole string of characters. Uh, there is a limit, I'm not sure how long the exact limit is, but I think it's only like this. Uh, however, I went on for like much more. Uh, and it is really funny to see and you can change everything. Keep in mind, everything you will change is only for your client. Other people will not see the things you changed, which is probably for the better. No, I correct myself. That is most definitely for the better. So that's pretty much it. Keep in mind, when you're done, save the file because only then the changes are actually applied. Also, you will need to restart the game. Uh, and then all of the changes will actually apply it. Like I said, most of it is trial and error. Some things won't necessarily change the things you think it would change. A quick example for that is, I believe in Shooter Game, if you quickly go search for skin, skin list, there is a list of all of the names of the skins for the loadout card. So when you hover over it, it will say the actual skin name. I changed the tactical black one to lame because, well, they are lame. These are the skins on the obsidian operatives, which look like iron skins. Uh, but nowhere to be found is the word lame, so I'm not sure where I changed it. But I'm sure somewhere in the game now, tactical black is changed by lame, but I couldn't find it. So that's really something you need to keep in mind. It's mostly trial and error. 
your best bet is just open up these files and give it a try yourself see what you can change see what you can come up with and just meme up that game so how i found out about this whole thing is by watching this video of bullet heat he changed his grenade launcher to egg launcher and I thought that was really interesting. So digging around a little bit in the comments, I came to this guy and he pretty much explained exactly what you need to do. And I thought it would be interesting to make a video about it. So I hope you guys like this video. Do let me know what are you going to change or even better, make a screenshot of the stuff you have changed and post it in the race Discord. Link is in the description down below. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.